everybody, Ace of Hearts Fox here and welcome to another First Eve Friday video! This week, I wanted to do a 10 tips video for going back to school! Whether you're starting a new year at the same school or you're at a new campus altogether, these are just a few pieces of advice that I wish I had while I was in school! So let's get started! Tip number one, talk to your teachers and professors like they're people! Cause, cause they are! One of my sisters teaches grade school, and the other is a college professor. But no matter what they teach or what grade level they're at, they're all just people trying to go to their job and do it well, most of the time. So if you just treat them like people, say hello, wish them well, all that good stuff, then I'm sure that goes a long way to make their day a little bit better. Tip number two. Tip two. Our second tip for today is to explore classes that you're gonna use in everyday life. And don't get me wrong, taking a class just because you think it's interesting is awesome! Back in my first semester of college, actually, I took an entire class called History of Rock and Roll. But other classes that teach things that you think might come in handy in your day-to-day -day can be extremely beneficial. For instance, when I was in middle school, we had an entire trimester dedicated to typing classes. It was by far the most boring class that I ever took in that school. We didn't even have computer screens, we just sat there with keyboards, unplugged, with nothing on them, and sometimes we would take tests where they would put a sheet of paper over the keys or something, and we couldn't see the keys and we had to type something, and then we'd turn on the monitor later to find out if we typed it correctly, it was crazy! But nowadays, typing is something I do literally every day! So thank you, boring middle school typing class! Another neat elective that I took was back in college where I found a managing happiness class. I know, it sounds really out there, but it was actually really cool because it taught a lot of different ways for us to manage stress and manage the tasks of daily life. And I still try to apply a lot of the things I learned there today. So if there's anything that stands out to you at all, give it a look. Our third tip for today is to check out on-campus clubs. For some reason when I was younger, I was always really overwhelmed by the idea of signing up for a student club. In hindsight, I have no idea what I was actually worried about. Clubs are great! Most of the time, you don't even have to be heavily involved with them. You can just go there and hang out whenever you want, or go to their events whenever they're having one. So if you're ever just bored on a day where they happen to be having a meeting, you'll always have a place to hang out with people that have an interest similar to you. But I might be a little bit biased, because I found a furry club on my college campus, and now I'm here. So even if you don't participate in their activities, it's pretty fun to have a network of people on campus that might be into the same stuff that you like. Our fourth tip for today is that you are not defined by your grades. Now I know this one is super typical, a lot of people say it, but I actually mean it. When I was in elementary school, I got great grades, and then when I was in middle school, I got okay grades, and then when I was in high school, I didn't have such good grades. In fact, I constantly struggled with them, but I kind of just scraped by by having good test scores. But that's the thing! Just because I was struggling in some areas didn't make me any less smart than any of my other classmates. I was honestly just bad at managing homework assignments. The point I'm trying to make is that if you're struggling in any area of your work, don't sweat it because sometimes you're going to have to work harder in some areas. Other people that were great in those areas, they might struggle in some other classes that you might be good at. We all have our strengths. So we talked about a few things that you can participate in and stuff that you can join in on, but that brings us to our next tip. It's okay to be different. Sometimes we might not find groups or communities on campus that we want to engage in, and that's totally okay. When I was younger, a lot of my friends came from places outside of school. I had a few close friends from different schools that I went to, but again, most of the time, a lot of the people that I spent a lot of time with were from other areas of my life. So remember, there are so many other parts of your life. And that kind of brings us to our next tip for today. It's okay to want to fit in. Maybe you like the structure of fitting into groups and you have a little bit of trouble fitting in, but you're working at it. I suffer from a lot of social anxiety, so I totally get it. Like, sometimes you want to socialize with a group of people that you probably would just generally get along with. But it can be very difficult or overwhelming to try to meet new people. Either way, whether you're a lone wolf or you're trying to join a pack, remember that whatever you're doing, make sure you're doing it for your own happiness. Speaking of happiness, one thing I would have really been happy to know is that I didn't have to have everything figured out by college. I know that sometimes it feels like you should have everything planned out, all the way through high school, all the way through college, all the way until you're sitting at your new job at your first day. But slow down! It's alright if you don't quite know what you want to do yet. Everybody is figuring things out. I can't even remember how many times I changed my major in college. Heck, maybe your interests have changed, or maybe you found something new that you're particularly good at. 
Whatever your plans are, don't be afraid to embrace speed bumps or changes along the way. And now, our eighth tip for today. The greatest years of your life are whenever you make them. When I was growing up, there was a saying that high school was the best years of your life and you're gonna have to enjoy it before blah 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 blah. But that's not necessarily the case for everybody. The times in some people's lives where they're studying and trying to grow might be some of the most difficult of their lives. So don't feel bad if you feel like you're wasting these great years or that you're missing out on anything. The best years of my life have been while I've been working and just trying to figure myself out. So remember, your best years are when you want them to be. Which brings us to tip number nine. If you have personal growth, you're succeeding. It's like I said, I went through multiple majors in college and I was just trying to figure out where I was proficient or where I was struggling. In fact, I think a lot of my takeaway from my school years was just figuring out what interested me or not. So as long as I feel like I've grown or improved in some way from those experiences, to me, that is a success. And that brings us to our last tip for today. You're going to figure this out. It might be scary not to have all the answers to everything right now, but you're going to figure it out. And no matter what you do, remember that everyone is going to completely different places at completely different paces. You're going to be okay. You're going to figure it all out. So thank you all so much for watching this week's Fursuit Friday video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys really enjoyed today's video, go ahead and hit like and subscribe down below so that you can get updates on whenever I post new content on here or if I'm doing a live stream. Also, if you guys haven't noticed by now, I've got a bunch of amazing people scrolling by right here. These are all people from Patreon. These generous people all keep this channel running. Some of them have social media links down in the description box below, so go ahead and check those out if you want to see all the stuff from the people that support my work. Also, I have a really, 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 really special announcement to make. I just launched my merch store this week. Actually, today. T today, the day this was uploaded. I'm not even wearing a watch. It is called aceofheartsmerch.com, and it's got stickers on there right now from some amazing artists, so support me and their work. But anyway, that's all I got for you guys today, so thanks again for watching, everybody. My name's Ace of Hearts Fox, and I will see you all in the next video. Pssh.